Hello and welcome back to Gangster Goodies Kitchen. We hope you're having a fabulous day today as we are in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make collard green dip. One of my sister friends, one of my girlfriends is leaving uh, the Kansas City area. She's relocating. She just got an amazing job opportunity and we're so happy for her. Uh, we're getting ready to have a little uh, going away uh, get together for her. And today I'm going to make um, collard green dip. And so you all know that I love collard greens. I'm always trying to find you know different things to do with collard greens. It's not new. It's been out there for a while but you guys have never seen the gangster goodies way we make collard green dip. So if you come a little closer, we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is put in some, this is some chicken apple smoked sausage. And so we're gonna put that in like a little Dutch uh, oven. I put uh, some, a little bit of coconut oil in here, just a little bit, not much, so that, you know, it can start, you know, doing what it does. And the next thing we're going to add to that, I chopped up some red and orange bell peppers. And so we're going to drop that in there. Then we're going to add some green onions. This is like two green onion stalks, and it's the green and the white portion of the onion. And then we're going to put that in there. Wow, it's starting to smell good, y'all. Look at all those pretty colors. And um, I'm also going to add a little bit of Mike P's Original Spice to that. This is Mike P's. Hey, Mike P, what's going on, dude? Using a little bit of the original. It's one of my favorites. This is where the flavor is also going to, some of the flavor is going to come from in the collard green dip. And so we just kind of stir that together. And you do that until, you know, the vegetables start to cook. Doesn't that look pretty? It smells so good too. Wish you were here. So we're now going to add a little fresh garlic. Just put a little bit of chopped garlic in here. I'm going to add that in there. And saute that. Oh my goodness, you guys. It smells so good. Now we're going to start adding our collard greens. And so this is about, just about a pound of collard greens. So we're going to start adding the collard greens. And normally, I wouldn't buy collard greens that are bagged, that are already, like, shredded, you know, really thin. But for this purpose, I did. And so, um, you just, you know, then we're going to let them cook. We're going to let them cook down. Uh, and you actually let them cook down for probably about, you know, 5-10 minutes um, until they start getting soft. Wow, you guys, this smells so good. Then once the collard greens start getting soft, then we're going to add cream cheese. And for this particular amount, I use two blocks of cream cheese. And then we're also going to use a half a cup of sour cream. And then we're going to add that all in there. But if you hold on just a second, I'm going to grab my lid and I'm going to put the lid on here just so that it can kind of start, uh, the greens can start, you know, simmering down, cooking down a little bit. Hold on just a second. Grab my lid. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid there. And while that is, you know, doing that, I'm going to show you the finished product so that you can kind of see what it'll look like when you're all done. So here we have a finished product of the collard green dip. And it is, oh my God, you guys, it is so good. I made these little miniature cornbread muffins. So we're gonna taste it with that. 
See these little bitty cute size cornbread muffins. And I did some garlic stick bread sticks and also some tortilla chips. You know, just, you know, depending on what kind of bread person you want, what you want to add to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Next time you have some friends coming over, make them some collard green dip. You know, this would be great a great way to use, let's say you make collard greens for dinner tonight and you got a little left over the next day, this would be a perfect way to use the ex those extra collard greens. So let's see how our collard greens are doing over here. Yes, so they are starting to wilt and cook down, which is exactly what we need them to do. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So now, we're gonna start adding our cream cheese. So again, this is two blocks of cream cheese. So, and I've cut it in a little chunks, so we're just gonna start adding it. I know, right, it's kinda of sticking to, <laughs> there we go. And we'll just start folding that in. Getting that cheese all melted. And then, of course, after the cheese is all melted, then we will put it in an oven-safe cook, uh, cookware and have your oven on 350. Matter of fact, you go ahead and get your oven ready. I'm going to do that right now. Put it on 350. And then uh, we will bake this for 15 minutes on 350. So we're going to add the rest of our cream cheese this smells so good I wish you guys were here so that you could actually smell it oh my goodness so and it takes a minute to kind of work the cream cheese in even though I let it you know sit out so it can soften a little bit but uh, that you know just kind of you know takes a minute to get it all folded in and we're gonna add our sour cream and I use, you know, light sour cream. No need in extra calories just for a little sour cream. It's not that serious. <laughs> and so now it's really starting to melt down. So if you want to take a look, you can kind of see how it's starting to melt down. And this is... Uh, the cream cheese, the sour cream, and you just want to make sure you got everything combined really well. Wow, look at that. Again, it smells so good. You know, and it's a uh, quick, you know, fairly, you know, fairly quick, fairly easy, and I promise you your guests are going to love it. So, we've got it all almost uh combined together there and then after we do that we're going to put it into a like I said an oven safe dish get that lid out of the way so I'm going to go ahead and turn the fire off because uh, we've got it just about where we want it the other thing I added to was some fresh uh, parmesan cheese so we're just going to sprinkle some of that in there. Maybe it's a, a cup or half a cup. Just to, you know, add a little more cheese to it. And this is, you know, just a basic kind of oven safe, you know, cookware. We're going to put that in and then we will put it in the oven and let it cook. And so you just dip it and put it, put it in there. So what do you guys think? I have a couple of friends that are here today as I am making uh, the collard green dip. And uh, they said it was really good. I had to actually hit their hands so that they would uh, stop eating, eating it. 
It's like, no, 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 that's for the video. Wait till after the video is over, but it's that fire. They could barely wait. So you see how you just put it all in there. And the other thing you could do if you'd like is put, before you put it in the oven, you can sprinkle a few breadcrumbs on top if you like. And I, you know, if not, you don't have to. That thought just kind of occurred to me that you could do that. I uh, do that sometimes with another dip that I make. So now, you know, the dish is all ready for the oven. So this is what it looks like when you get ready to put it in the oven. And you'll put it in the oven for, again, about 15 minutes on 350. And you'll be ready to serve. And so we'll take one last look at the finished product over here. And I'm going to take one more bite, too. And so there you have the collard green dip, y'all. I hope you all try it. See what you think and let us know. Uh, leave us some feedback in our comments section. If anybody wants the recipe, let us know and we will provide that for you. Uh, thank you, uh, as always, for sharing your Sunday with us. We really appreciate you doing so. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Gangster Goodies Kitchen. And be on the lookout. That book is coming last week of October. Ain't nothing but a gangster goodie party, a twist on tradition. We'll have wonderful small plates in there for you, recipes, desserts, cocktails, just in time for the holidays so that you can share with your family and friends. And if you're looking for some good read, check us out at our blog site. We've got good, rec good recipes, good articles. Uh, that you may be interested in, and that's GangsterGoodiesKitchen.com, and also YouTube. We're starting to upload our videos to YouTube, so um, no matter what your modem is, there's a way for you to find us, and that's the, the most important thing. Again, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day with your family and friends, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for following.